these videos have been filmed in sections so you can get to grips in each section before you move on to the next part. Don't try and do the whole piece at the same time because they're quite long. If you have any questions, please email us at info at pilgrimharps.co.uk or visit our website www.pilgrimharps.co.uk and make sure to tag us in your final videos at Pilgrim Harps. We're on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Good luck. OK, so first you need to get into the right key. So you need to put the A levers up, the B levers up and the E levers up because we're going to be playing in C major. So we're starting in your right hand, so you're going to be playing on the C above middle C, third on C, second finger on D, thumb on E. Then you're going to move your hand up, so your second finger to the E, and play two of those. That's how this should sound. One, two. going to bring in the left hand I'm going to play it in my right hand so you can see the notes we're going to play a C chord C E G and then a C arpeggio they are meant to be spread so eventually they'll sound like this but for now keep them straight because this makes it easier to put the hands together hands together first a little bit You've got your C, G, C, D, E and your C, E, G in the left hand. You're going to play your chord with your thumb, with your right hand thumb. Then we're going to add the next little bit. So two E's. On the second E, you're going to start your arpeggio. So the third finger comes with the second E. So that whole little section sounds like this. One two we're now on the second little section right hand so you're going to need to put a third finger on d second finger on e thumb on g three two one so you've got a scale but you're missing out the f then you're going to move up the second finger to go to move to the g thumb to the a So that's going to sound like this. One, two. You can now add that to the first section. So you've got one, two. We now need to put the left hand with that new section. So with your D, E, G, with the G, you're going to play an F chord. So F, A, C in the bottom. And then when you play the A with the thumb, you're going to play an F arpeggio. So the third finger comes with the A. So that little section sounds like this. One, two. Those first two sections, hands together, sound like this. section of the first line so with your right hand you're going to play a C arpeggio but you're going to descend so you're going to play G E then C then the thumb moves to an E second finger moves to a D third finger moves to a C so you've got a nice little arpeggio play one miss ones and your little scale then two C's with the second finger So all the way from the beginning, adding on that new right hand section, one, two. Now to add the left hand to that, uh, that last section. So you're back to your C, E's and G's. You're going to play a C, G chord, then an arpeggio. Then you're going to play another arpeggio, but you're going to place the second and the third back down together and 
come back down. So that'll sound like this. And then you can play another C arpeggio. So you've got C arpeggio, C up then down, and then another C arpeggio. Putting that last little bit hands together, so you've got G, E, C in the top hand. With your bottom finger, so your third finger, you're going to play the chord. That's a C chord. Then you're moving down to the little scaly pattern. With the third finger, you're going to play your third finger and it begins an arpeggio. So those two together sound like this. One, two. You're then going to add those two lonely C's on at the end. With the second one, that's when your arpeggio that goes up and then back down starts. So that sounds, all of that sounds together like this. One, two. the first section of Raglan Road hands together all done. We're now on the second line. So you want to put a G, your second finger on G, thumb on A, you're above the C, above middle C, so you're quite high on your harp. So you're going to play two, one, two, one. Nice and simple. Then in the left hand, you've got an F chord and then an F arpeggio. Your first chord comes with your thumb and then your arpeggio starts with the second thumb. That sounds like this. One, two. Go pause the video, go back to the beginning and see if you can add that all on. I'm going to move on to the next little bit. You're then going to put your, your thumb on the C above the C above middle C. So you've got C and you're going to put your second or your third finger, whichever is comfier, on the E. And then you're going to move down and play a D and a C. So that second little section on the second line, hands together, your left hand part is a C, G chord and then another C, E, G arpeggio. Nice, simple left hand. So your first chord comes with your second or your third finger, whichever one you chose earlier, on the E. And then when you play the C in your second finger, your arpeggio starts. So that little section sounds like this. One, two. Next, moving on to E, F, G in your right hand. Nice little scale. Then your second or third finger on E and your thumb on C. So whichever you chose earlier, keep to the same. So you've got E, F, G, E, C. And then we're gonna add the, right, the left hand with that. So you've got a C, E, G chord, and then another C, E, G. So when you play your right hand thumb, you're gonna play the left hand chord on C. Then you're going to play the arpeggio with the, the right hand thumb again. So hands together, that sounds like this. One, two. Second line, hands together up to where we've got two. One, two.
we're gonna now going to add on the last little bit. So you've got last two notes in the right hand, E and D. In the bottom hand, we're going to move to a different chord now. We're on D. So it's a D arpeggio, up, then down, then up, just like the end of the first line. Just so you can see what I'm doing. So it's going to sound like this. So you're going to play the Ds together. So third, bottom fingers together. This is the whole of the second line now, hands together, starting from the upbeat G, so G A in the right hand. One, two. good news you've now learned hands together the first two lines the third line is the same as the second line exactly the same so just power through that one again and the the last line is the same as the first until right at the end so instead of doing this is your left hand part um, the arpeggio that goes up then down at the end you simply go up and you link that to a four fingered C arpeggio above it So that last little bit of the whole piece will sound like this. One, two. These videos have been designed so you can pause them when you get to a good point in your learning. Don't try and do the whole video at the same time because they're quite long songs. But if you'd like to download the music to help you, it's available at www.pilgrimharps.co.uk. Good luck!